So, uh, Catalan Mediterranean cuisine, local purveyor, and mostly organic. From here, made with a local grape called Red Cerebro. Mm -hmm. Maple syrup from Canada with sea salt, followed by cold cream, and cava cebollón on the top. We recommend to drink it all at once, but it's low. Handing out the glass until the salt comes down. The jail, the contrast, and texture. Thank you. All right, thank you. Hold it to the salt, hold it to the salt. That's the most delicious shot I've ever had in my entire life. What is it? It's like sweet and caramelly. Creamy, the salt, and it's awesome. Funny chicken. Funny chicken. Something like this. Emmy's funny chicken? Yes. <laughs> but in a Galician language. <laughs> Similar to Catalan, but so different. Okay, let's do it. Okay, like it's always a real wine. All the process is artisanal, even the even the sign, it's painted by hand, every yeah. bottle, yeah. So it's just 300, 300 bottles. Can we take home the bottle? Sure, it's a very, very, very elegant wine, just like the red mallet coming next, okay? okay. The aromatic herbals, strengthening the lemon thyme in the, in the red mallet, and also the wine's acidity, the good wine's acidity, gonna make contrast um, between the wine's acidity and the sweet part of the dish. So we have a fermented garlic rose, we have a big sweet sensation. A fermented what? A fermented garlic rose. And with this acidity, going to help to clean these creaminess. This is the squat rice with squat creamy croquettes, some raw vegetables, and red one spice pear. And around it is smoked and cinnamon cocoa. Please enjoy. Thank you. And also for the same product, or Venus La Universal, with the only difference between two. So this is the um, different parcels. This is the sunny parcel, and this is the freshly parcel. But it's made it with cutting and the same. Way. I'm not understanding a fresh. Fresh one, fresh parcel. Parcel. No, with no sun and sunny parcel. Sunny a, parcel. Yes, it's a one more concentrate for the for the meat that goes in the right of the dish. It comes with the smoked bone marrow. So we have smoked and lead. Main course is a beef from the Pyrenees. The container will ask you please to move your beef from the barbecue on the top of the caramelized oil. My job mate is adding. It's a reduction of the same beef with some smoked bone marrow. At your left, madam, you will find an oxtail croquette with butter, raw mushroom and tomato powder or tomato dust. Same meat prepared two different ways, the same grape prepared different ways from one. La free dessert, it's different textures of a strawberry with frozen cream, cherry vinegar and micro sorrow. Thank you. Thank you. We have sweet wine from Navarra. It's a sweet wine from late harvest. In Navarra, Navarra is in the west of Catalonia. Okay, it's made with Moscatel grape. Uh, sweet sensation, but also good acidity. With remembers of flowers, honey, and also yellow uh, right front. It's an apricot mousse. The green one is pistachio biscuit. This is apricot mousse, and this one is an ice cream made with the apricot seeds. And then the candied popcorns. 
And for ending, I will add this ah. saffron cream. Ah, lovely. This is like, this is like a journey. It is. So we will uh, finish with this experience of the Pedro Ximenez um, from Torro Alvará. But first of all, the Pedro Ximenez, I don't know if you know that, but in Spain, Pedro Ximenez is the name of a grape, but it's also, also a type of sherry, a sweet sherry. It's the name of a what? Of a grape, okay. but also a type of sweet sherry. Can you grape? say the name again of the grape? Pedro Ximenez. Okay, Pedro, Pedro Ximenez. Okay. Uh, for Are you from Barcelona? No, I'm French. You're French. Okay. <laughs> uh, for the sherry, there's the dry wine, like the Fino, the Mantanilla, the Palo Cortado, the Amontillado, but also some sweet uh, sherry. This um, um, will be the most famous one and the, uh, the, the uh, fantastic uh, sweet sherry. Mm -hmm. Now from the Toro Alvara winery, and the idea here is to try to show you how a wine like that could, uh, could uh, be better with the years. We will start with the, the youngest one, the Pedro Ximenez from the 2014, and then we have two really old vintages, the 73 and the 1955 um, Sweet Cherry. I will try also to recreate on a solid part. Oh, it's dark. The flavors we found on the cherry with this uh, little sweet sensation to finish. On the first cherry, the youngest one, for us, it's really fruity and with lots of full flavors. That's why on the plate we uh, put a little bit of uh, grape jelly, but also an orange blossom uh, puree to remind this floral sensation. The second one from the 73 is much more complex. You can see the, the color of the sherry is darker than the previous one. But on this case, a lot of complexity, a lot of peppers, a lot of uh, basil aromas, a lot of um, caramel with the pralini and all that you will find on the middle of this ginger twine, all these flavors. Um, and to finish, the wine from the 55. I think something really, really amazing. Complex, with a lot of sugar, that's true, in all the three sherries, but really well balanced with the acidity of the wines. Sometimes people thought that with the old Pedro Ximenez you will find a lot of sugar and a lot of ability aroma, something really old. But for me, this 55 is maybe younger and the 73 with a lot of acidity. And what is this? On um, this case, the chocolate on um, Cho uh, everything because this chocolate film is present in the three Pedro Ximenez. We thought more intense on the last two than on the first one. That's why you have more chocolate at the end. Ah. Also some sea salt also to enhance the flavor. The sea salt enhance a lot of flavor too.